I, you know, I don't like wasting my time. I don't like spinning my wheels, unless we're in a fast car, but I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to be effective. I want to know how to be effective. And the Lord wants us to be effective. He didn't want us to spend and waste our time. He didn't want to waste his. He won't. Good morning. I welcome you this morning. Can you wrap your head around it that it's Friday, the Southwest Believers Convention? It seems like it was just yesterday or maybe the day before that we stood here that it was Monday morning. Now it's Friday morning. And so we are on the, the downhill coast as we headed towards the end, but the end is always the beginning. So while this ends, we go from glory to glory. We'll take the things that we've seen, heard, and learned, and we will be bettered and increased and more equipped. So I welcome everyone watching this morning on the Victory Channel. There's a number on your screen, and there is, that's a wonderful number. You should always have that number handy. And that will take you to our prayer call center here in the U.S., and there's someone waiting there with faith, with love, and very importantly, with the Word of God to help you and to, to pray for you, help you with information you may need about Kenneth Copeland Bible College, about uh, the church. Let's see, the Believer's Voice of Victory magazine, partnership, your offering, whatever it is, they want to help and facilitate you with what you need. We are a need meeting organization. That's what we go for. The dad said over 50 years ago, meet the needs of the people. And that's, we're not out to get our needs met. We're out to get yours met. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. So first of all, we started praying last night over Israel. I don't know if you caught things, but boy, it's ramping up over there. It was very interesting to me. I started following a, a little different channel on See, I think it's on Telegram and it's Israel real time. And it's, it's really aimed towards a Jewish audience, but it was interesting as they were giving Shabbat exceptions in a time of war. They came from the chief rabbi. So things that you can do during a time of war that would not be kosher, that would not be permitted on Shabbat, on the Sabbath. So it says, have your cell phone in your pocket. Don't go to synagogue unless there's a, a bomb shelter. When you get there, be sure you check out the distance to the shelter. Be sure that you have, they have a Shabbat mode on their computer or on their phones that even though it's turned off, it will still signal an alarm if you need to take shelter. Uh, all these wonderful things that, that change in a time of war. So what does that tell us? Our mindset has to change. Our attitude has to change. Things that you didn't even think of, you disregarded, you paid no attention to. Now there is no time to acclimate. There's no time to uh, educate, you know, or get used to doing something. You got to do it and you got to do it right now. And you can't forget because your life or somebody else's may depend upon it. So there is a heightened sense of alert. They're very alerted and ready. Everyone is poised to take their position in war. If that position, all, none of the commanders, none of them, none of those that are on duty over the weekend, none of them are allowed to take off. There are no leaves. I'm reading all of this, you know, on this app. There are no leaves. There's no exceptions. Everybody will be at their post. We have a good friend, somebody that we've recently made good friends with. He's a commander and he, he has been in Gaza for months and months, especially he went, he actually jumped in his car and went straight into the attack zone on October the 7th. He is, um, let's just say highly skilled. Okay. In his, in his job, very skilled, but he told us, I think he said his record was was it two and a half or three weeks without a shower or changing clothes that they, they are allowed to take their boots off when they sleep and that's it. So they are ready when they were down in Gaza. And so now they have moved their emphasis, of course, to the north 
for Hezbollah, but they're also on alert all the way around the country. What does that mean? Well, nobody is everywhere, but they're aware of everywhere because if something happens over there, it's going to affect me where I am. If there's an attack in the North, I have to be really prepared for something different in the South. I may have to shift. I may have to change my position. I may have to be instant and ready to move. Where, where I'm, in one moment I was uh, just on guard duty and in the next moment I'm engaged in combat. I may be hand-to-hand -hand combat. It may be up close and it may be very personal. There may be, there may be a target right on me personally or I may be part of a bigger attack, or I may be part of someone that has to go and rescue someone who is under attack. I have to be ready. What am I doing? I must always, two things, I have to be listening for the commander's instructions. At the same time, I have to rely heavily on my training. And I can't rely just on the training that I had a long time ago. You don't go to boot camp and leave and then forget about it until it's called for. You stay in tune. You stay tuned up. You stay ready. You stay trained up. In fact, you're improving and honing your skills all the time. Well, brothers and sisters, we are at war. And in this situation, in many ways, we're at war with Israel. Why? Because it's a spiritual battle. Because all the things that, you know, this coming at the end of an age affects all three people groups, the nations, the Jews, and the church. And God, and God alone knows how to work everything so that he deals distinctly with each group. And he says, though, that the, the, the time clock is watching Israel. And we see what's happening by staying in tune with them and spiritually being on the ready. What are we doing? We are preparing. We are working towards whatever else we have to deal with, whatever people group we're in. We are in the church. We are in a nation, but we are in the church. We are closely related and linked up with the Jews, but we are in the church. We're not Jewish. We're in the church. We're born again believers but we are here to service the nations and the Jews. And if God's going to treat them differently, so must we. You, don't, you, you, you just have to learn and how to be aware of that. So I want to show you some pictures. Spencer, I didn't get to see what you have. So I asked Spencer to pick three of the uh, pictures of his favorite pictures of the new fighter jet that Israel has just purchased from the United States. Thank you very much. This is the F-35. Whoo! Glory to God. Look at that. Look at that. That's some serious business in the air. Okay. And then the, you have another one, sir. Do you have another picture? Look at that. Oh, look at that power coming off the, that is not Jeremy's little 172. Hallelujah. It was pretty cool. I took ground school as well. I was about the same age he was when I took ground school, but I got so involved in television, I, I didn't finish, but I did complete my ground school. So I was relating to what he was saying. Okay. And I, I was in a 172 as well. Okay. So now you got one more. Is that it? Or you? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How would you like to be looking down the throat of that thing right there? <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Come on now. So I wanted you to see these because the name that the, Israel has named this uh, in Hebrew, but the Hebrew means mighty one, mighty one. Another word for it is awesome, awesome, glory to God. And so what we're going to do is this morning, if you want to stand with me, we're going to first, we are, I wanted to go through our, was going to go through our temple diagram again, but the, just as I was about to walk up the steps, the Lord said, you get ready to go to war, put on your armor. So we're going to look at these scriptures. Come on out guys, Jonathan, take, take your position, sir. So this is what it's a, a, 
uh, the apostle Paul wrote to the Ephesians. Now remember, this is after having told them about their their position in Christ, having told them that they have access to the throne by the blood of the lamb. Rather, they come through the blood and have access to the father by the spirit. So what we are doing, we are doing in the spirit. That's why praying in tongues, we are in tune with the commander. Everybody just kind of go like this for a minute. What is this? We are, we are ready. We are ready. We are, we are ready. You know, I played, I played ball for years. And my grandfather played ball and he told me, he said, Terry, he said, you know, a lot of people get down like this. He said that, he said, you don't want to, you, you, uh, you don't want to rest on your knees. He said, always be ready. Be ready to go this way. Be ready to go that way. Can't you see me on third base? Can't you see it? And watch, can't you see me? And so he'd say, you got to be ready. You got to be ready to go up. You got to be ready to go down. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. I looked a lot better at it back then. Hallelujah. You look pretty good now. Is that what you said? Yeah. I don't know if that's what you said, but that's what I heard. (laughs) Don't you love the eye of faith? (laughs) Hallelujah. And so we're ready. We're ready. And so he, he said, you've got to have access to the Father by the Holy Spirit. And praying in tongues just puts us ready. We're just listening. We're watching. We're watching him. And he says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Come up here, guys. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amplified Bible, Amplified Classic says, in conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with him. Draw your strength. Where's that come from? Well, there's a strength and anointing that comes upon and there's a strength and an anointing that comes from within. Think about that that mighty aircraft, that F-30. There's a strength on the outside. Ooh, that the engines in that thing and the, 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 all the things, the, the uh, components and the computers and the thrust and the power. Whoo, all of that that's in there. But it's nothing without the power of the, the man on the inside. We have power on, well, we are covered and anointed with power on the outside, but there's power on the inside. Hallelujah. And so draw your strength from your union with him. That strength which his boundless might provides. Okay, and then what are we going to do? In the next verse, we put on the whole armor of God so that we are able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amplified says the strategies of the devil. You know, you can have a lot of powerful equipment, but if you get caught off guard, if you're, if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, doing the wrong thing the wrong way, then the enemy can take you down. But if we're in the right place, doing the right thing, the right way at the right time, then there's no foe that can stand against the power of the Almighty. Because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we are warring against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this age or of this world and against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places, up there in that, that, that stratosphere around the earth, that atmosphere that's full of demons. You know, that's why every time we do, we get in the airplane, and whether it's my dad or George or myself, and we pray over that, we take authority over wicked spirits that are in the heavenly places. And we tell them, you're not getting in our way. You're not hindering us. We'll have, we won't have turbulence. I've had pilots that have flown me places before. And one pilot said to me, he said, I really like flying you. I said, why? He said, because I get a tailwind both ways and that never happens. (laughs) Hallelujah. He said, I don't know how you do that, but we got a tailwind going where we went. And when we came back, there was one coming the other way. (laughs) Hallelujah. And they said, well, we're going to have some turbulence. Just be prepared. Like, I don't think so. I don't like turbulence. I don't like that. And so the, you know, the, the, anyway, they like to fly me. Praise God. So we take up this whole armor so that we are able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, we stand therefore. We gird our waist with the truth. We put on the breastplate of righteousness in Christ Jesus. We have our feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace. What is peace? Peace 
pace is, we think of peace as what really is the after, after effect of peace. But peace is the mastery of chaos. Peace is the force that masters chaos. Peace takes time. Peace says, storm, I got a hold of you. Stop that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And above all, say above all, we take the shield of faith wherewith we are able to quench, to stop all the fiery darts. We quench all the fiery missiles. We quench all the fiery UAVs. We quench, we quench all the fiery rockets. We quench all the fiery drones. We quench all the, the fires coming out of handguns and rifles and machine guns. We quench the fire that's demons that's driving people with knives and, and intent to kill. It quenches, stops it. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. The shield of faith, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And we take that up, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. That's the helmet of our salvation. The helmet of, you know, you could get in those jets, but they, the, if you don't have your helmet on these days, it's, they're not, those helmets are a lot more in, integrated into the system than just to protect your head from getting bumped. But you know what? You, if, if, even if that's all it was, just to protect your head, I, we, um, Gabe Perot, just on one of those, what they call them, hoverboards, he had that, I don't think he had his a helmet on. And he liked to die. He just, it just, you know, messed up and hit something and, and it, it liked to kill him. We had to have a miracle to raise him up. And we got one, praise God. We had to, but that helmet of salvation, that helmet of salvation, glory to God, which is the word of God. But you know, it doesn't stop there. Praying always with all prayer and supplication, intensity with direction and being watchful to this end, to this purpose until, it's, until we reach the goal with perseverance and supplications with all the saints. This is for all the, all the saints, all the church. And you know, the Bible calls the Jew the saints as well as the church. They are the saints as well. What are the saints? People who are separated unto God and they are. So with a supplication for all the saints goes on then to say, and for me that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Hallelujah. One more for which I am an ambassador and that I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. It's one thing to be bold, but you got to be bold and do it the way you're supposed to. You got to be bold the way he wants you to. It has to be so targeted. It's not, you, boldness doesn't have to be ye yelling. Sometimes boldness is nothing but a raised eyebrow and crossed arm. Hallelujah. So Father, we are so blessed to come before the throne of the Almighty in the name of Jesus, the commander of the church. And we offer ourselves to you this morning, first of all, in behalf of all, the, all men, because all men need to be saved. And what's happening in Israel is affecting the United States and between those two nations, all the earth is affected by this. All the earth is affected by what is happening and underway even as we speak. And so we offer ourselves and to yield to the Holy Spirit to be in flow with the command, with the directive, with the leadership, with the intuition of the Holy Spirit to pray as we pray. And Lord, you have called my attention this morning to the skies. We pray over the skies, over Israel, 
And we pray over all the skies that Israel flies into. We pray over pathways. We pray over airways. We pray over coordinates. We pray over strategies. We pray over weaponry. No malfunctions in the name of Jesus. No malfunctions. No malfunctions. No malfunctions. No malfunctions for the saints. No malfunctions for the people of God. We thank you, Lord, that angels love to work in the in war. Angels love to work with um, with equipment. Angels love to work with, with guided. Oh yes, guided missiles. Guided missiles. Oh, the guided missiles. Do you guys have microphones? I want you to be able to hear holding a little bit behind me. In the name of Jesus, guided, 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 guide those, guide those, guide those. Make them be, make them be what you want them to be. Make them go where you want them to go. And Lord, we pray over, over the guidance, the iron dome. We pray over the iron dome in Jesus' name. Angels that equip, angels that support, angels that increase. Lord, where they fire one, let there be two. Where they fire one, let there be two. Where they fire one, let them let them the, the, the equivalent, equivalent of two. Where they fire one, let them take down two. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Father. And wherever, wherever there's not an iron dome, wherever there's not a defense, oh, we thank you for the heavenly defense. Thank you, Lord, for heavenly angels, heavenly armaments, heavenly missiles. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lord, I pray over the alliance that, uh, that China, uh, the coordinated alliance between all the terror groups from the, from the Palestinian authorities in Judea and Samaria over into Hamas and Hezbollah, the Iranian Guard, the um, Houthis, and all of those, everything coming out of Yemen. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, Sudan, I say in the name of Jesus that Sudan gets shut down in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the equipping of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that at his command, angels respond. Angels respond. Angels respond. Angels respond. Angels, we charge you. Respond. 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 Respond in the skies. Respond. Now, Lord, we pray over all of the, uh, on the, the ground. We pray over all the, all wherever your people are. We pray over all the, the ground, over the ground, over all the ground, inside the borders. We pray over Jews everywhere. We pray over them everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Lord, the angels are released. Angels are engaged. Angels are empowered. Authorized, authorized. They are authorized to do their job. Authorized to take their place, to defend the children, defend the families, defend them. Lord, reinforcements, reinforcements, reinforce bomb shelters, reinforcements, Lord, reinforcements to reinforce, reinforce the troops, reinforce, oh, oh. Oh, oh, a Sahara Makana. Oh, a snake. Oh, a Sede Makona. Oh, a Sunde Malata. Oh, a day gain. Oh, it ain't a Masindo. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, I pray, I pray that every weapon that Israel employs, every weapon, every, every kind of weapon, every use of the weapon that Lord it is delivered. Yeah, it's the Aka 
uh, with the fear of God attached to it. With the fear of God attached to it. With the fear of God and the might of His strength attached to it. Attached to it. Attached to it. And I pray God that that every bit of that speak to Washington, D.C. in the name of Jesus. I pray their eyes be open. I pray they be shaken to their very core. I pray that they wake up. I pray that they wake up. I pray that they wake up in the name of Jesus. Wake up, wake up. Shake them to their very core. Shake Kamala. Shake that nonsense out of her. Shake it. Shake it, Lord, with the fear of the Almighty God. Let them see and behold. Let them behold the reward of the wicked. Oh, Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you. 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 Glory, glory, glory to his name. Glory to his name. Fierce, fierce, fierce in battle. 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 Fierce. And Lord, I speak in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of fear. I tell you, you bow your knee. You bow your knee. You bow your knee before the people of God. You bow your knee. You bow your knee. You bow your knee. Thank you, Lord, with the charge of the, the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Glory to God. And exercise great authority. Demonstrates his great authority over the prince of the power of the air. Glory to God. Bringing glory to the name of our God. Hallelujah. To the name of our God. Hallelujah. Who is our protector? Who is our defender? He said he would never sleep. He would never slumber. And then his eye is forever open over Israel. And if his eye is over them, his eye is over the United States. His eye is over the church. His eye is over our families, over our children. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Lord, for all those demonic thinking and plans and strategies that have been at work in the United States that Lord all these terrorist and, and demon ideas and, and, and possessed people that have been drawn in through our borders and that are stirring things up and re ready and waiting to perch in the name of Jesus. I'm asking for an awakening unto God. I'm asking for them to awaken to throw down their weapons. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And all that we, all we declare, all we say, all we proclaim over Israel, Lord, we declare it with, with one hand and with the other. We lay hold of it for the United States of America. We lay hold of it for every nation represented in this convention. We lay hold of it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Now let's pray in the spirit. Lord, we pray over those things that we know not. It can on He don't know wisdom, wisdom, wisdom and counsel of the Almighty. Wisdom, thoughts, ideas, words of wisdom, words of knowledge, operations of the Holy Spirit. Operations, operations of the Holy Spirit. Words, prophecy, 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 prophecy. Thank you, Lord, for prophets. Thank you for prophets in Israel. Prophets, prophets in the military, prophets in the uh, government, prophets they see and they know, they have answers, they have direction. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The arm and the might, hallelujah. Uh, Krista, do you have that, that verse? I forgot the reference from the message and it talks about watch me work. I had it for last night. We didn't use it. Do you have that that you can put up there? It says, I'll roll up my sleeves 
You know, in the 2020 election, it went the way it did. And Pastor George had a word from the Lord and the Lord said, you watch me work. Well, we've been watching him work, but we're about to see the hand of God on a level like we've never seen it before. Hallelujah, glory to God. Let's praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. I'm so glad for the God that we serve. I'm so glad for the God that we are, we are on the power side. We're on the glory side. We're on the victory side. Glory to God. 